This is Sovereign Island, one of the most expensive suburbs in town. And today we're going to ask these millionaire homeowners if they've got any items that we can sell onto eBay. I'm well, thank you. I'm just doing a business card and a fly drop. Um, I've got an eBay business. I sell full time and um, I was just in the area just seeing if anyone had any unwanted items that they have wow. lying around the house. Well, actually, we might be moving house in a bit, so just never nice. know. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh. Every oh, day. Is there anything oh, yes, running shoes. Well, let me take it inside. Perfect. Absolutely. And look, I'm around uh, this week as well, so if there's any you know, loose stock that you would ultimately take to an op shop or something yeah. like that, I'd be happy to come around and, and buy it off Perfect. you. Perfect. This is your phone number? Phone number, email, oh, yeah, it's all there for you. Yeah, we'll do so, thank you. Lovely, no worries, see you later. So the aim of this video, I think, is to try and find $500 worth of resale value that we can put onto eBay. Um, I don't know if we're gonna be able to achieve it today. They might go away and work on a few things that we could ultimately purchase, but if we can drop off all 50 cards and get a $500 return, I think this will be a success. So no guarantees that it's gonna happen, but we're going to keep knocking on these doors to find out. I'm just really nervous at how nice these homes are. I feel like the nicer the home, the more nervous I get. Multi-millionaires. Yeah, multi-multi-millionaires. I just had this for you. It's a business card and a flyer. I'm an eBay seller. Oh, okay. Um, so I sell everyday pre-owned items that people have got around the house they no longer want. Oh. And I resell it onto eBay and give it a second home. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Um, so cool. if, if you have any stuff over the next few days that you no longer need, um, all my contact details are there. You have no idea what I've got in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I'm, I'm around all week, so, um, okay, so YouTube as well. So how do we make it happen? Uh, well, all my contact card? details are on the business card yeah. and down the bottom of the flyer there. Um, but ultimately it would be, you know, these pre-owned items, collectibles, action figures, video games, all these sorts of household things. And um, I'd come over and, and buy them off you and then try and resell them for a profit myself. Like yeah, lovely. I'll leave it with you, hey? Thank you. No worries. All the best. Do you think you'd have anything like that or? Um, at the moment, no. Yep. Um, but my brother will be coming up to like move in, so I'll see what he has. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get in touch with you. That sounds great. Yeah, yeah. No worries at all. Appreciate Thank it. You. See you later. All right, guys, I just wanted to let you in on the secrets of success with what we're doing here today. We've created some business cards. I've got all of my contact information on this business card right here. And then I've got a flyer. This is just a one pager and it goes into all the details about what we're trying to do, what we're trying to buy, why we're doing it, who we are and how to get in touch with us. So the combination of that and the business card when we're in conversation with these guys is going to allow them, if they're interested, to be very easily in touch with us and then we can come back and strike up a really good deal. So if you're thinking about doing this yourself, these are two very, very important pieces that you're going to want to have. No worries, mate. All good. All good? Yeah, we, get, we end up well. Got huge amounts of um, bloody running shoes downstairs. Actually, I've got a whole bag which I've just pulled out. Really? Of my cupboard, yeah. Well, I can give you some good money for them if you like and... I obviously then put them online and, and benefit from that as well, so. Well, um, let me have a think about it. I'll give you a ring. Take and, all the time. Uh, we'll put all the stuff, because we, 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 we've probably got quite a bit of stuff that we can get rid of. That's incredible, mate. That's exactly what I want to hear. Yeah, so, yeah. look, no stress on time. Um, yep. I'm available all week, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I, I do it nine to five, Monday to Friday, yeah, so. No worries, mate. Yeah, we'll just, yeah, I'll pull the stack of stuff out of, and some of them brand new. Yeah, Thank you, mate. You, Matt. Thank you very much. Yeah, we'll see you later. That was amazing. G'day mate. How you doing? How you doing? Not too bad. Just doing a uh, business card and a fly drop. Oh, okay, cool. I, uh, I sell on eBay. Oh, yeah? Yeah, full time. Oh, so nice. I was basically just doing a bit of a run around to see if anyone's got you know, unwanted items lying around the house. Oh, yeah, no idea. <laughs> I know. Oh, that's actually awesome. That's really good. Uh, with it's just... Um, I've been doing a move, so I've been trying to look to get rid of a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. It's yeah. just DVDs, video games, yeah. clothes, shoes, really? okay, everyday yeah. stuff, pre-owned stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. And I'd look to buy it, and then I'd take it home and then resell it onto eBay. Wait, um, hang on, let me think. I've, I've got... DVDs and video games are typically the biggest ones. Yeah? Um, um, I don't know if I've got any of them there. Hmm. Do you sell watches on there? Depending, yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. I got a G-Shock if you... G-Shock would be sweet. Yeah? That'd be cool. Oh, I'll go, I'll go That'd be it. awesome, mate. Yeah, appreciate that. All right. Oh, so I got another Rockwell one. Hang 
Okay. Reckons he's got a G shock. That's brilliant. This could be our first buy. First buy of the day. Can I just grab a couple of them? Cool. You know, uh, <laughs> that's actually so funny. Because um, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get my mum a gift. All oh, right. I was trying to scrounge around the house for like a hundred bucks. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we yeah. can absolutely look at making something work. I could do the the power beats. Yep. Uh, and the G Shock for say. I'll do I'll do that for a hundred. Do it for a hundred. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, guys, we've made our first purchase. We've got a G Shock watch. We have a rider. Yeah, a rider. We've got to look into this one, but it's Rockwell. Rockwell? Yeah. Rockwell Rider or Rider by Rockwell. Rider by... That's it there. Rockwell. Nice watch. And then we've also got some Beats, some wireless Beats headphones. These are the Powerbeats 3 wireless. And there's a little tag on there that says $250. Oh, so what? they retail for $250. Now, he he went pretty high with his, with his offer. He said initially $220. For, cool. for a while, he had, some, he had some video games as well, but they weren't worth a hell of a lot. So I kind of wanted to play on the three main items that are worth some significant money, but I was able to pull him down to $100. He said he couldn't go any lower than 100 bucks. Mm. So it's a lot more than what I normally pay at flea markets, garage sales, op shops. But I know, for instance, this first of all, this G-Shock watch can go for some really good money. So we've got a $100 watch there on the G-Shock. This rider looks like it'll go between $60 to $80. And then we've got these Beats by Dre. Yeah, Beats by Dre. See that one there? That's them, because they're yellow. They're yellow, so that's pretty much an exact match. Probably about like $130 in the box. Or 130. With the box, I think we could just go for $100. Mm. So what it sounds like, guys, is that we've just bought this for $100, and it sounds like there's about $250 worth of value. So with three items, $250 in value to ship them all off, take out the fees, take out the post, and take out the $100, I think we might be able to have made about 50 to 60 bucks. In five minutes. In five minutes by just buying it off him out in front of his garage door. I'm just so stoked that he literally said, I've got some stuff that I can bring out for you right now. Yeah, crazy. So it's possible, guys. We are profiting on these three items right away. Hey mate, how you doing? That's the way I'm well. Don't really, we have some DVDs, I guess, but um, yep. have to look around this summer because we kind of just moved, so it's probably in some boxes. But yeah, I think we do have some old DVDs or something. That was good. He said that he's got a heap of stuff. He goes, he goes, oh, so you're doing the stuff that is, you know, people are too lazy to do themselves. Yeah. Literally. I was like, that's exactly what we do. Yeah. So people definitely get what it is. There's no like tricky conversation to make them aware of what it is. Yeah. It's just whether or not they actually go back and have a look around their house and then actually get in touch with us. Yeah. But. Good to do it. I think, I think these are good conversations that we're having though. I'm feeling confident about what might come of it. Yeah. All right, guys, it is five o'clock. We're going to call it an end for day one. We've dropped off all 50 business cards. It was definitely a slog today. We've spent five hours out here. There's been a lot of just simply no answers at the front door, which is very, very time consuming but we're able to get them all out there and hand deliver them to 50 people. We just have to hope now that they give us a call back. Yeah. So it's been three weeks guys, and uh, I've sat back and waited for the phone to ring. And unfortunately we have had zero phone calls, zero text messages and zero emails, which is really quite surprising based on how good those conversations were on the day. But if I sit back and have a bit of a think about it, I actually probably realize that these millionaire homeowners probably aren't after a few dollars for a couple of pairs of old dirty shoes. They're probably not the right target market to approach. Next time around, what I think I'd do is actually go out into a middle class suburb and those people are probably going to be chasing the dollar a little bit more. And there's also less anxiety and less stress going up and knocking on a, a house that isn't quite as flush as these multi-million dollar homes that I was in. Um, so I'd definitely do that. We have had some success though with the three items that I was able to buy on that day though. Uh, the Rockwell by Ryder watch ended up selling for $85 on eBay, super quick as well. And that's fantastic because we bought everything 
for $100. Uh, the G-Shock watch, that's got three watches currently on it and it's got about 49 page views as well. And then the Beats by Dre headphones, that's got about 49 watches as well. Sorry, 49 views and it's got two watches. So there's definitely some interest. Um, those items are priced out at about $200. So there's potentially $280 worth of value if those two other items can go on to sell. So having bought all of it for 100 bucks, there's definitely gonna be a few bucks worth of profit. So it wasn't a complete miss, but I, I just think that I've learned a whole lot from this experience. Experience. And if you guys want me to give it another go and go to these middle class type suburbs, uh, definitely let me know in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well and you won't miss those new episodes uh, that I have come out. But appreciate you being here for this little experiment. I've never done it before. Let me know how I went. Um, appreciate you tuning in guys. I look forward to catching you in the next video. Tune into this one. We'll see you soon.